Hey everyone, this is MadN3 VAN doing another quick video, hopefully, on the Nano VNA H4. Uh, a viewer of ours actually um, sent this to us, and he's not able to get it out of DFU mode. I just turned it on, and as you can see, nothing. It's not. Uh, showing anything on the screen, so it is stuck in DFU mode. Uh, what I'm going to do is there's two ways to actually get it out of DFU mode. Uh, the easiest is to plug it into your computer and send it a command to exit DFU mode and hopefully um, get it out of there. And the other is to actually take off the four screws in the back, open it up, and do the pin method. Uh, we'll see which one is actually needed this time. So stay right here, and we'll show you what we're going to do. All right, guys, now that we're over on the comms laptop, let me plug in this Nano VNA that's stuck in DFU mode. There we go. We hear the notification that it's plugged in, but I want to make sure by going into Device Manager that it is showing up in there. We don't need to worry about that. And what you want to look for is Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Hey, there it is, STM device in DFU mode. Once we confirm that, we go into the start search, and you want to do DFU SE Demo, same software used to run the firmware update. And since I'm not sure if the correct firmware was installed or maybe there was a corruption in the firmware, I'm going to actually reinstall the device firmware. Sometimes, if it's stuck in DFU mode, uh, you could probably click on right up here where it says leave DFU mode, but I want to make sure that he is getting the correct um, firmware software. So I actually downloaded it recently. There it is. The Nano VNA H4 version 1.2.20. Let's open that. Loaded correctly. All right, let's click upgrade. Now it says, hey, we're going to wipe things out of there. That's fine because he's not even able to use the device. So we'll hit yes. All right, racing, upgrading. There we go. Upgrade successful. That's always a good sign. Um, now you could unplug it, but I just want to make sure that the device will work and not be stuck in DFU mode. So what I'll do is I'll go up here, click on leave DFU mode. Leaving. Hey, successfully left DFU mode. And wow, the screen is on. It's right next to my comms laptop and it's working great. So that's pretty much it. Let me quit out of here and I'll show you that the, uh, Nano VNA is actually out of DFU mode, and then we'll check the actual versions as well. So hang on one second. All right, so I disconnected it from the computer, but I did see it pop up on the screen. So it looks like it left DFU mode. Now the moment of truth, if I turn it back on, will it? Hey, there we go. It is working. Perfect. Turn it back off. Turn it on again. All right, still good. Let's put it in DFU mode. All right, so it's in DFU mode right now. Let's see if I turn it off. Turn it, hey, perfect. All right, the way it's supposed to operate. Let me see if it's updated. Because he said he was trying to do an update. Hey, it's the latest version, 1.2.20. All right, so this is working. I'm going to put it back in the box and ship it back to the viewer, Duke. Thank you very much again, Duke, for sending this to us so I can take a look and see if I can fix this for you and make a video for others who might have this similar issue. Uh, once again, if you like the video, have any questions or comments, please put it down in the comments section. If you like the videos I'm doing, please consider subscribing. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is Matt N3VAN, and I'll see you on the next video.